Today's topic is, DML commands in SQL. What is DML? Data manipulation language consists of those commands, which are related to the rows, or tuples. For example, insertion of new tuple, deletion of tuple, updation of tuple, etc. Now, let's understand each DML command, one by one. Insert keyword. Insert keyword is used to insert a new row, or tuple in a table. Here is its syntax. Now, let's create a table and then we will insert rows into it. Creating table is shown in the previous video, of DDL commands. If you have missed the video, then watch that video. The link is in the description. Let's run this command. Table employee has been created. Now, let's insert a row in the employee table. Let's run this command. One row has been inserted. Let's insert two other rows. Let's run this command. Note that, we can run only one command at a time. Select keyword. Select keyword is used to return the tuples from the table. We can either select, some rows and some columns, or all of them. We can use the select keyword, in four ways. First is to select some specific columns of all the rows. Let's see the example, we will select name and employee ID, of all the rows. Let's run this command. This is our output. Next syntax, is for selecting specific columns of specific rows, satisfying some condition. Let's see an example. We will select name and city, of those employees, whose salary is greater than 40,000. Let's run this command. This is our output. Next syntax is for selecting all the rows and columns from the table. Let's see the example. We will select all the rows and columns of employee table. 
Let's run this command. This is our output. Last syntax is for selecting all the columns of specific rows, satisfying some condition. Let's see the example. We will select the row where city is Delhi. Let's run this command. This is our output. Update keyword, update keyword is used to update the values of the tuples. We have to give the condition of the tuple where we want to change the values. Here, is the syntax. Let's see an example. We will change the name and salary of the employee, having employee ID as 1002. Let's run this command. One row has been updated. Now let's see the records using select command. Let's run this command. Here, we see the values of the third row, has been updated. Delete keyword. Delete keyword is used to delete specific rows, or all the rows of the table. First syntax is for deleting specific rows. Let's see an example. We will delete the row, where employee ID is 1002. Let's run this command. One row has been deleted. Now, let's check all the rows of the table, using select command. Let's run this command. Here, we see. The row having employee ID as 1002, has been deleted. The second syntax, has no condition that is all the rows will be deleted. Let's see the example. We will delete all the rows, of employee table. Let's run this command. Two rows has been deleted. Now, let's check all the rows of the table, using select command. No data found. This means all the rows has been deleted. This is similar to the function of truncate command in DDL commands. Hope you got the basic idea, about all the DML commands in SQL. Practice the commands on your own. Thank you.